it feels like the most important letter. When my first book came out, I have a poem in there called Poem Beginning with a Line by John Ashbery. And one day in the mail, there was this letter from John Ashbery. And he said, you know, thank you, you sent this book. And he said, I see that you used one of my lines. He said, it took me a while to remember what poem it came from. And he said, ah, yes, this poem errs, which I wrote 50 years ago in the village when that was something like a hospitable place for poets. Congratulations on your book. One an interesting letter that I received was one that Adrian Rich wrote to me uh, in the 1970s, uh, with which I couldn't agree, uh, saying that uh, there was no reason for a woman poet in the, in the 20, to be to be writing um, in metrical forms, and my response was that uh, one didn't write the way one wrote because of anything except uh, what impelled one to write, uh, and uh, that was a discussion that was ongoing in, in, in various essays for, for quite a few years, and, and uh, needless to say, or perhaps not needless, but uh, Adrian Rich is one of the poets I most admired over decades and decades, and whose work, work I keep going back, so that was why um, that discussion was important. I once got a really touching letter from W.S. Merwin, you know, I mean, he just wrote me the letter. A letter of support that said, thank you for your interest in my work, signed William Merwin. So, I mean, that meant a lot to me at the time. Well, the email I received to tell me I won the Walt Whitman Award was pretty huge. I was in an airport bathroom, and I checked my email, and then I got out of the bathroom and I told my wife I just won the Walt Whitman Award. And then we had to get on a plane, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes after that, so I, had, I wanted to tell everybody. But I couldn't because sitting on the plane with my own thoughts it was kind of crazy. But it was good. I got to digest it a little bit before. It was written on yellow notebook paper. It was from a prisoner, and he outlined uh, what he, how he had discovered my poetry. That they had this system where they would push the the string. They would tie string around things and, and sort of push it under the door to reach another cellmate, and someone had sent him, had written out a poem of mine, and had pushed, his, pushed it under his door, and that's what made him write me. And I still, that must have been maybe 15 years ago, and I still have the letter. Well, I can tell you the first one that I received was from Denise Levertov, and that was a very big, meaningful one when I was 12 years old. When I was 12 years old, I wrote to her, and she wrote back. That was very meaningful. I can't even think of another one.